checking out some great pitching in this series that we have seen though. Yesterday was the was the matchup and so often the case that the, the one guy that gets maybe too much of the focus ends up being out of the picture <laughs> and that's the guy who maybe we should have been focusing on Josh Tomlin who's now seven and oh first pitcher to do that for Williams since Dennis. Martinez. Well, we know what happened that year and again you don't want to look too far ahead but you look at last night's victory and this clubhouse they've rallied around this guy and he's the elder statesman of the staff it's somebody that has worked so hard and tirelessly at his craft he's unselfish he does whatever you need him to do always has and you know he'll never be the, the favor no you know he's always the underdog but I'll tell you what nobody's better at it than he is I don't know if you guys had said it you know yesterday or, or recently but you look at the Mets rotation and all the the accolades for the guys that throw the mid 90s the great stuff and Bartolo Colon still continues to be the leader of that staff when many ways Josh Tomlin yeah he leads by example yeah he's he's a treat to watch and always has been. He's finally healthy. How about his last start in Cincinnati? Goes oh. out and gets a couple of hits. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> it gave me flashbacks too. It's like if I had another foot, maybe I could have been in the same territory. But it's it's a testament to him. And I think the younger guys too. You know, they go to him. They have confidence to ask him. How do you how do you go about getting some guys out? Even though he doesn't have you know the big time fastball, if you're able to make guys look silly. And he, I mean, he went through this lineup last night. Really, really well. He's a guy that can pitch out of the strike zone to help him succeed in the strike right, zone. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With his misses and how he sets up, he knows where his lanes are that he can make and, and not make. Jose Ramirez goes down swinging. That's six strikeouts now for Jose Quintana. Hey, Rick, you make a great point, and, and I think a lot of young guys, it takes them a while to learn this. You don't have to throw a strike right. to get a guy out. That's true. And if you set if you set yourself up by Pitching ahead, a number one. That's what you want to do with the fastball. You can throw stuff out of the strike zone. How many times do we see, you know, Corey Kluber? He throws a slider that starts in the outside corner, ends up off of that guy still swinging and missing. Well, I see Tomlin a lot when he gets ahead, 0-2 or 1-2. He'll throw a little. Let's say a left-handed hitter, cutter away and try and get it to come in. And if he misses, it's a perfect pitch, and then lock him up with a fastball. Right. It's right on the inside corner, and he can't pull the trigger because he's looking out there. <laughs> 